possible, and if one moves, you better hope the other hand follows. The dining car may be the most glamorous food truck predecessor, but there's another one that may inspire even more affection. The good old-fashioned hot dog cart. When there's a good time, there's a hot dog. Hot dog carts first appeared in the late 19th century. Called dog wagons, they became popular with hungry visitors at places like baseball games, the Chicago World's Fair, and New York's Coney Island. The cart's two by three foot size gave it the mobility to fit into small spaces and weave through narrow streets and sidewalks. Today, no matter what city you live in, you can be sure to find a hot dog cart. Can I have a hot dog? Uh, yes, I can do that. Rocky Segura sells the American classic, hot dogs boiled in water, AKA dirty water dogs. It's something that came out of New York because it's sitting in water. It's just a myth. The water's not dirty. The hot dog is good. It's just a way of preparing the hot dogs in New York. Can I get a hot dog, please? Yes, sir. Two dollars. To cook a New York-style hot dog, you need a New York-style hot dog cart. You see them all around the world, but the largest manufacturer of this classic food truck is in Miami. Louis de Ramondo, the self-proclaimed hot dog king, and his team at the All-American Hot Dog Company manufacture up to 1,200 New York-style street carts a year. It has three pans to boil or steam the hot dogs. It has two burners, two control knobs. The hot dogs are in here. Each pan can hold up to 50 hot dogs, but a vendor doesn't cook them all at once. He's cooking as he's selling. One hot dog. Thank you so much. A vendor can cook about 200 hot dogs an hour, and in a popular location, make over $100,000 a year. The success of this classic food truck may well be due to its simple design. It uses a rudimentary cooking method, and it's easy to maneuver. To make the hot dog cart, Louie and his team start with an aluminum frame and install a basic burner system for boiling water. They use quarter-inch copper gas lines to connect two cast iron burners to a 20-pound propane tank. And since the vendor will be handling food, Louie and his team add a water system with a hand sink. It relies on gravity. Water flows from the five-gallon water tank above into the sink below. For mobility, this pushable cart has a 10-inch front dolly wheel, which makes it easy for a man, woman, or even a child to push it around. But loaded up, a typical mobile push cart weighs 400 pounds. Little has changed in this earliest food truck's design since the first sausages were sold from push carts in the 19th century. But back then, the carts were made out of wood and fueled by kerosene. Today, you can boil the dogs, steam them, or grill them, just as long as you don't break the cardinal rule of hot dogs. You cannot put ketchup on a hot dog. You cannot. It's a, it's a rule because it belongs on a hamburger, not on a hot dog. Basic hot dog is mustard, not ketchup. Just mustard. Hot dog carts inspire memories of childhood baseball games and summer barbecues. And of another nostalgic food truck that many of us grew up with, the ice cream truck. 